Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to download MSI Afterburner. I've seen a few of your messages saying you cannot download MSI Afterburner and I actually just went to their website and that is correct. I can't actually download MSI Afterburner because it appears they have made some changes to their website. But there is actually a way around this. And I didn't comment it in the video because I thought it's just easier to show it to you on a video recording. So first you need to click on the link that's in the description below. And once you're on the MSI Afterburner's website like I am at the moment, you then need to right click and you now need to click on view page source. I am using Firefox for this, but you should be able to view the page source in Google Chrome or whatever web browser you're using as well. Once you're on the page source, you now need to go control and F and you now need to find dot said IP and you then need to highlight the part where it says HTTP all the way to where it says dot said IP and you now need to right click and go copy. Once you have copied that line of text there, you then need to open up a new tab and you then need to go control and V to paste the link in and you now need to go enter. And you will then have a pop-up window where you can then save the .zip file, which is the setup file for MSI Afterburner. You may be wondering why haven't I put this link in the description or in the comments on this video. That's because as you can see it says setup 463 beta 2. This might change tomorrow or next week. So that's why I've just left it how it is so you can manually find the link. Once the file has finished downloading, we can then go ahead and open up the compressed folder and you can then extract the file, the .exe, to your desktop. And once you have extracted it by dragging it to your desktop, you can then open up the setup file. We can then go ahead and select our language and you then need to follow the step by steps for the setup. I'm then going to go next you now need to agree to the terms. If you accept, go ahead and press accept and then next. You can now choose if you want to install the Rivia tuner as well. I actually like that program, so I'm going to actually keep that selected. We can then go ahead and press next and you now need to choose where you'd like to install MSI Afterburner. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive, which means I'm going to go next now. And you then need to go ahead and press install. MSI Afterburner will now begin to install to your PC and once the install has finished we can then go ahead and run it from our desktop as you can see on my desktop at the moment it has added the shortcut this is the Rivia tuner setup just popping up now I'm just going to quickly go through and install this agree to the terms next install it to my C drive that's fine and then install it onto my start menu shortcut. Now that's finished installing, I can deselect readme to file, I don't need to read that, and go finish, and we can now keep run MSI Afterburner selected and go finish. And there we go, as you can see, I have now successfully installed MSI Afterburner onto my PC. I hope this tutorial did help you and you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.